This is Nate Burks and Sasha. We're from Spanish Fort, Alabama, and you are watching Bobby Guy Films. What's up, my fellow foul addicts? Nice to see you again. I hope you guys are liking all these foul how-tos and reviews and how to save money videos. If you are, hit that uh, thumbs up button and let me know. But today we are back outside, out of the Foul Friday man cave. It's nice to get out here during the winter when I'm doing all my how-tos. I'm kind of stuck in there by the nice cozy fireplace. But this morning it's not humid. I don't have a man pond going yet and uh, it's beautiful. So I wanted to get out here and go through something with you guys. I've had a lot of questions. I've had a lot of questions concerning these bad boys right here. Socks, so wind socks. Now, these are White Rock. DOA brand White Rock decoys. So today, I'm gonna go over the function of them. I'm gonna show you them. I'm gonna ha show you how they're put together. I'm gonna talk about why they work well, when to use them, uh, kind of go over some questions that you guys have asked, like how many do you have to have to hunt with them? How, you know, can you use them with uh, Canada decoys? Can you use them with these decoys, that decoys? So I'm gonna cover that real shortly and uh, try not to make this video too long, but I do wanna cover it all and give you guys that tasty information to let some knowledge rain down on your shoulders. Do you hear me now? So first off, like you've seen me do, you pull these out of the bag. And when you pull them out of the bag, they're all like this. So let's open this up. This is how we put them all in here, guys. There's a bunch in here. I'm not sure how many we, I think we have about four or 600 of them, I'm not sure. But these are, they're, they're all laid in here. All the socks are laid here basically this way. Don't put them in this way. Always put them in this way because they're easy to grab. The guy that puts them in like this right here, he's about to get bee slapped. I'm serious. Grabbing handfuls out of the bag is a first. You, you must be able to do that to sit a bunch out in a hurry. Now, like I said, when you pick these out of the bag, when you get ready to stake them in the ground, you're gonna go, that's just to get them fluffed up. See how they're nice and fluffed up? If you don't do that, they look like this guy who might be suffering a case of AIDS. So now like any decoy, we are going to shove her in the ground. Oh God, we need some rain. Oh. Okay, she's in the ground a little bit. I didn't fluff them up too much. So right here, as you'll see on these guys, it's got a spring in here. I'm not sure why, I, think, I don't think the spring's really necessary, but there's this little plunger. You put it up to the top, it keeps them up there. Now, I don't have any wind, it's still very, very still outside, but when the wind kicks up, these move in the wind. Very lifelike, guys, very lifelike. These are extremely sensitive, so they're constantly in motion. But you can sit these little plungers down low, so you can have them at different heights if you want to. So one of my main questions that I've been asked a ton about is, hey Bobby, how much, how many of these things do I have to have to be able to have an effective spread of these? And, and my answer to you guys is, you know, one bag worth. One bag worth, I believe, is either 150 or 200 of them. One bag worth will get you a long ways with these guys. So I don't, I'm not necessarily going to tell you to go out. You got to buy a thousand of these things so it'll work right no a bag of them will get you started we actually have two bags of them i believe it's 400 of them total so I, that, you don't need to go have in uh, thousands of these things these are just a kind of a cherry on the top this is this is what sits you your spread apart from the rest now i'm going to answer one of the like the second asked question can you run white socks with dark geese and if so how are you able to do that and why does it work well if you watch a lot of my hunts our our hunts i'm not gonna say just mine because me and my crew if i didn't have them we wouldn't be made i wouldn't be able to make this happen for you guys so first of all if you watch our hunts uh you'll see we hunt in white painter suits white bibs white hoodies white beanies a bunch and still kill canada's specks and ducks so how this works guys yes you can use canada full bodies snow geese full bodies and socks 
all together. You just have to learn how to set the spread. Now guys, I can't go over in this short of a video to show you guys how exactly we set our spreads, but I will throw up this aerial thumbnail. And basically, check this thumbnail out, and what you're gonna see is the whole U shape of our dark spread, and on the back, you will see where the white is, where we've actually set all the socks. Those are all full body snow geese and socks. And yes, we limited out on dark geese this day. So guys, in a, in a very small, short story, this, the white, why you hide in white, why it works, I'm trying to find my words, is because the geese are blinded. The ducks and geese are blinded by the white. They cannot pick you out of something that's so bright from an aerial shot. If you look at that photo again, like right here, you'll see that that's us laying on the ground in that white dark blob in the middle where it's the most brightest of white, that's where we're laying. As a, as a goose, you cannot even tell that that's a human being laying there. So that is, that's why it works. Some call it cheating, I call it hunting. But real quick, while we're on that note, if you guys wanna see me, get out here I'll, I'll get I'll, I'll get out here you want to see me find a big field that I can sit a full dark not a full but maybe a slim down portion of smaller size spread of dark geese snow geese and and the socks and I will get in my white suit and I will show you how we lay down according to the wind everything's according to the wind guys if you guys want to see that drop a comment down below let me know right now don't wait till the end of the video. Go throw it in there right now. Let me see it because if so, I'll have it coming to you this week because I'm really excited about doing that. I could make it a little longer, probably make it a 15 minute video pretty easily. So let me know down low. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I just wanted to touch lightly, show you guys around the socks, give you a little bit of explanation for the questions that you guys have been asking. If you wanna see the big spread video, let me know it's going to be an undertaking but i'm down to do it if you guys want to see it there, these things are real simple so there's not much to cover on this uh, about the functionality and how they work uh, they're extremely delicate and they work great in the wind as most of you know that are longtime subscribers i stress motion in your decoys whether it's on water or on or in fields so socks but i want to thank you guys for watching make sure you hit that thumbs up if you liked it drop that comment let me know about that spread guys have a good one y'all peace